very hard fought game. Again, proud of the way our kids competed in the game. Thought they left everything on the field. Um, you know, we didn't come out of it on top, but I think we learned a lot about ourselves and situations. A lot of young guys for the first time playing in that kind of atmosphere and environment, I think, grew a lot. So we'll move on and get ready for NC State this week. As you watch that film and you turn that film on, it makes you forget Clemson real quick. This team's a very good team, very dynamic on defense. Great front four, big physical guys up front that can rush the passer. And, you know, Rose and those guys can sack the quarterback and Street, Hill, Chubb, all those guys. The linebackers are active and play a lot of press man coverage. and. What they do, they're aggressive there. The quarterback resets a playmaker, can create big plays, hard to get on the ground. We just got to go execute and do the things we did. I mean, we've had opportunities in both games that we've come up short in. I mean, it, it was difficult then. I mean, people forget, I mean, during that run, there were so many games that come out to the end and how people played you and things go on. And you can look across the country, anybody who starts a run, there's a ton of great close games that, that they're all like that. You know what I'm saying? And it'll be like that in the field. If we start a run again, there'll be a bunch more of them. I mean, college football has such parity in it now and the consistency to get up. I, I, that's going to be difficult. Defensively, I think we're doing a really nice job. Offensively, we're moving the ball. It, I mean, you can look at the numbers as far as moving the ball in yards. We're doing that. Points is down just a hair because I think our red zone efficiency is not quite what it needs to be. It has been lately. And third downs are down just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, those things, those areas, it goes back to me talking situational football, and we work on them constantly. We got to, but sometimes on third down, it's first and second down to get you. And, and the one thing I probably say is more, a little more, a few self inflicted wounds that I wish we'd be over by now. That's one thing about college football that, that to me is great that you can have a great taste in your mouth and have a great season and, and not be always be the champion. I mean, that's our goal, and we know that here. I mean, we're not going to hide that. I've never hid from that. But at the same time, to have a heck of a season and win 10, 11 games and, and, uh, when, you know, go to a great major bowl game, that, that's six, I mean, go back to the run of the 14 years. That's what happened. He's strong in the pocket and he can make all the throws. But two, he, can, he has mobility, escape. But then three on top of that, he's so strong, getting him on the ground. And he can throw in tight areas with people hanging on him. And, you know, a lot of guys, if you get, once you get a piece of them, you know, they can't. But he's strong enough to stand back up there and throw the ball back down the field. And reminds me of a guy when I, when I play, I coach, reminds me of Rohan Davey a lot in that area. Could, uh, plays with guys hanging all over him. You know, it's like a, when your big brother's in the backyard and there's about ten little kids and five of them are hanging on him and he's still throwing the ball down the field and they're all trying to get him down. I mean, that's what he reminds you of at times.